Welcome back. Today's topic is Segregated Portfolio Company. Well, Segregated Portfolio Company or SBC originated in Guernsey and Delaware, but a number of other jurisdictions followed, and they can now be formed in Bermuda, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Anguilla, Ireland, Mauritius, Jersey, the Isle of Man, Malta, Bahrain, Gibraltar, and Samoa. To define, Segregated Portfolio Company or SBC is a company, which remains a single legal entity, but creates segregated portfolios such that the assets and liabilities of each portfolio are legally separate from the assets and liabilities of any other portfolio and from the segregated portfolio company's general assets and liabilities. The principal advantage of an SPC over a standard exempted company is to protect the assets of one portfolio from the liabilities of other portfolios. They are sometimes referred to as sell captive companies or a protected sell company. Technically, SBC is a single legal entity and the segregated portfolios lie within the SBC and are not separate legal entities. But, for bankruptcy purposes or any legal litigation, they are treated separate. Meaning, if the assets of a segregated portfolio are inadequate to meet that portfolio's obligations, then a creditor may have recourse to the general assets of the SBC, but not on those assets which belong to other segregated portfolios in the same SBC. SBC is a legal corporate entity with full capacity to undertake any object or purpose subject to restrictions imposed on the SBC in its memorandum of association or simply memorandum. The benefit of SBC is significant in certain mutual fund structures, multi class hedge funds, umbrella funds, and master feeder structures. By forming an SBC these structures have ability to set up a statutory ring fence to protect against cross-liability issues between assets and liabilities of the segregated portfolios within an SBC. Further, the segregated portfolio assets comprise assets representing share capital, retained earnings, capital reserves, share premiums, and all other such assets. Going ahead, let us learn the salient features of SBC 1. A segregated portfolio company must include the letters SBC or the words segregated portfolio company in its name. The portfolios should end with the name SP or segregated portfolio. Two and SBCs one or more classes or series of shares may be designated to each portfolio, and the proceeds of issue of any shares so designated must be included in the assets of the relevant portfolio. Three principles relating to the payment of dividends or other distributions, and the payment of the redemption or repurchase price of shares, are applied to each portfolio in isolation, so that an SBC may pay a dividend or other distribution in respect of portfolio shares of any class or series regardless of whether a dividend or distribution would be permitted to be paid in respect of any other portfolio. For as a portfolio is not a separate legal entity, distinct from the SBC itself or from any other portfolio, the general case law stipulating that a company may not purchase shares in itself applies so that a portfolio it is not able to invest into another portfolio of the same SBC 5. One of the limitations of an SBC is that a portfolio cannot enter into a binding agreement with another portfolio, as they do not constitute two separate contracting parties. 6. An SBC, like any other company, may be wound up voluntarily or by the court. Going ahead, let us learn some of the CDD requirements of a segregated portfolio company. 1. Certificate of Incorporation 2. Constitutional Documents that is, Memorandum of SBC 3. Binding Agreements between SBC and the segregated portfolios 4. Annual Report or Financial Statements 5. Identification and Verification of Directors of an SBC 6 Complete Ownership Structure Chart of the SBC 7 Details of the Auditor 8. Identification of Anti-Money Laundering Officer of the SBC 9 Identification of Investment Manager and Details of its Controllers and Owners, if not regulated 10. Investment Management Agreement 11. Procedural Document of SBC 12 Signature Mandate Going Ahead let us learn the money laundering risks associated with SBCs, 1. The SBCs can involve in Ponzi schemes. 2. The SBC structure can be used to evade taxes. 
3. The SBC structure can be used for managing bad assets leading to willful defaults. That's all for today. Thank you. Hope you all now have a fair idea about segregated portfolio company and you may now apply this knowledge to your day-to-day -day work. Have a nice day ahead. Stay tuned.